Toggle, Jack Thultra's blue. Toggle, Jack Thultra's red. Toggle, Surf Slayer's red. Toggle, Surf Slayer's blue. Right, so we're back in. Surf Slayer's are attacking. And Ghost X, Dankeschön. Ich weiß nicht, ob das jetzt... No, das ist auf jeden Fall eine Beleidigung für Tempel. Also Tempels, uh, dein Englisch ist scheiße, mach besser. <lacht> das ist eine Nachricht von Ghost X. Ich nehme an, deine, dein Leash oder sowas. And Yorkshire Pudding, how are you doing, bud? And Fatal, you went to team play, you were just terrible, let's be real. Right. Let us see the differences in setup, shall we? So. Hero wise, Jekt have got four pike. Okay. Two muskets. Good wedge of moles as well. The attackers have got five pikes as well. Interesting. This is a massive difference when you compare these guys with, say, Banish. Banish had, like, apart from two muskets, they just had, um. They just had uh, short swords, pretty much, or like heavy classes. Oh, come on, game, don't do this to me. You literally click on something in the game's like, nah, dude, I'm not good enough. Right. So it's a full A push by the looks of it. For the Surf Slayers, let's see if they, what they can get done. Ject have got a good defense already on here so they're expecting a breach push obviously they've already got stuff already in here it looks like they had shenjins up they've got falconettis up they've got shenjins up they've got flamers up i like the combination here as well gray air garrison fort brachio that's good good units man so the attackers have got palace guards Osho, shenjin iron reapers free sets could be very very good with their uh cc immunity Okay, IPG as well to push stuff over. This is going to be interesting, man. So the attackers obviously have 15 trebs. The breach is down. That must have been the Falcon A. Yeah, that would have been the Falcon A. Let us see how these boys set this up. B's completely left the look. What's Kalashnikov doing back there? I was changing units. We had cavalry out and I was going for javelin sergeants instead. Okay, so he's probably going to try getting into this area here. Um, and then hopefully getting his javelins off onto the dudes when they push through, but we'll see. So the attackers are falconating over the wall. Okay. Are they on the resupply there? No. Okay. So the attackers are waiting. And I assume they're just waiting to, like, they're having a look where the defenders' units are, looking how they could, the gate's been breached. Ah, that's what they're waiting for. All right, never mind. <laughs> I was like, what are they waiting for? I was trying to just talk, just chat shit, basically, like I always do, to try and just be like, oh, why are they not moving? If I'd have just looked at the gate, you know, we, we would have seen. Right. So the attackers have got three guys on the breach side, everything else on this side. They can't build artillery, like a tournament plays a lot of the time. You push into here as the attackers build mortars and stuff and start mortaring here. Obviously, there is no artillery, so that's not possible. They have just been extremely unlucky with that treb, though. Only the last one hit. The Shenjins got their grenades off and hit here already, and then got hit by the treb. So the, the attackers, even, sorry, have just lost their first unit. They've just lost their second hero, sorry, their third hero. So, extremely good start for the Surf Slayers for this defense. Unit-wise, the attackers are losing more. Okay, interesting. Wait, I've got them split. Never mind. <laughs> the blues are attacking. My brain's just like reds attacking. Reds attacking. It's not blues are attacking. Right. So they're basically still even though. Nine heroes alive for the attackers. Ten for the defenders. Now it's 10-10. Uh, we've got a attacker Espona in the background there. Trying to be a pain in the background. The defenders here. The Jack Ultras are doing pretty well on clearing stuff up. Is Yuki. Is what units are you going after there? Ah, Falcon it is. Okay. He's just been stunlocked though, he's dead. He's got two pikes on him and a, a, a musket, so he's not he's not getting away from that. He just got taken out by Jackie Trin. Good shout though to try and go for the Falcon it is, because you do not want them firing in. There's only three of them left though, so it's not the end of the world. The attackers are getting in pretty Oh, the defenders are rotating now though. So I think they were just getting new units there pushing in now. That is a good treb. Yeah, straight into the middle of Fort Abracchio. This is scrappy though, because everyone's getting their resupply back in. Jack Dobdien, Flamespieler suchen. Um, sobald ich weiß, 
MX, die Teams sind eigentlich gestellt, wenn du auf die CB Rivals Discord gehst, aber und dann dein äh, Name in ähm, Suche Team oder wie der, die, wie der Kanal heißt, dann das kann sein, dass eine dich äh, nehmen will. Weil das kann auch Cross-Server sein, ne? du, du spielst mit deiner eigentlichen Charakter. So auch mit deiner Panzerung alles. Und das ist uh, good information for everyone. The attackers have just lost a lot of heroes so quickly. They've used a few of their traps as well. The defenders, man, are going aggressive. Look at this. They must have the units, so they're pushing out. Turbo in the back here. So you're going after there, Shenzhen. Yeah, he just jumped on top of Shenzhen. Oh, wrong button. Was that Shenzhen? That was Shenzhen. Okay. Grenades there were thrown, but it didn't really do anything. They'd already pulled back. Okay. Ryan, a little bit of information for this tournament. The defenders have held that pretty well, man. Uh, 500 loss for the attackers to 480 of the defenders. Three minutes left for A. Right, this is a fast battle, man. I've, every time I want to say something, something happens and I... Yeah. <laughs> right. So on this league... You basically use your main character, so you bring your, you can bring your best crafted weapons, you can bring your best crafted gear, which means you can have extra leadership, which means that if you've got enough, you can bring free gold units, um, which is the difference to the tournaments that have been played. You're not allowed artillery, and I think those are the main differences. Oh, there's no death cap either, so you can die as many times as you want. I'm in love with your German accent, Kreschnik. Danke dir. <laughs> Ich bin froh, dass es dir gefällt. Also mein Akzent ist ziemlich stark, wenn ich Deutsch rede. Also mein britischer Akzent kommt stark raus. Aber naja. Ich habe auch nur neun Finger, also von daher ist das akzeptabel, würde ich sagen. <lacht> right, the attackers have pushed in. They are getting pincered though from two directions. The defenders have been really good, man. Uh, uh, reacting to stuff. The attackers, Trebs, I don't feel they've done that well. Like, they've been placed in the right positions. I just feel like they've been unlucky. Although that one was a good one. I was saying that was it. It was only one hit. Headers just got killed. That's not allowed. So the attackers have dropped like half the units. I think. I think Jex have got this, you know. I think they've just won 2-0. They've got, they've just wiped the enemy team. They've just wiped the attackers. They've got double the units almost left over. And it looks like they're hunting them now. Look at them. They, they know. They know they've got it. They're going on a hunt. They're saying, get the hell out of our settlement. They've been reined in, though. <laughs> I think that was a rush of shit to the brains. Everyone was like, just kill them all. Jack's probably screaming, don't go out. Stay on point. <laughs> so the attackers are coming back in one more time. They've still got most of their dudes dead, though. They've definitely lost a lot more heroes. Yeah, and the defenders are just stacked on, on A, look. There's still five trebs up, so the attackers could probably think. Oh, the defenders just lost the guy, which isn't the end of the world. They're basically winning anyway. Wait, Yomagu? The attackers lost the guy? The attackers lost the guy. Was he not in the whole time? Yomagu. No, he wasn't the whole time. I wonder if he just rage quit or if he had a connection problem. I mean, it wouldn't have made a difference. There was 30 seconds left. Him being alive now would have literally done nothing. You got Makuku in the background here trying to do something. Gwed's seen him. He's got units with yet yeah, insta dead. Header's killed somebody else. That is definitely not allowed. Header is not allowed to kill people. How dare you? Max flames on the B point though, but Zuki's there. Rebellious is there. Zintex is going to stop him as well. So, nice try. And GG direct, my dudes. Holy crap. I've been speaking to some of their boys though, so I knew that they were training. Like they've been, they they train a lot. So, and I knew that they they were they were confident going into this fight. Header, second best player. Shout out to Header, he didn't even die. I'm still calling you Deader though. <laughs> but well played, my dudes. Like Jack Ultras there with the uh, win on the attack and win on the defense. Very well played. Quite a few S ranks as well. Uh, eight. I said that was a quick match. There wasn't really that many killing. There's still like 200 units left on the field. Very well played though. The attackers definitely made ground though. They got like what half, 60% of the cap off on the A side. So they did really well. Tinjev as well didn't die as a dual blade. Shout out to that man. Like, he, good work. Definitely doing damage. I, uh, they must be frustrated though because they definitely had some good pushes on man. I think they got. They got a bit unlucky with a couple of their trebs, like just RNGs, 
just decided, no, not today, boys. Um, but they definitely did well. Coordinated attacks. They didn't panic either. Like, you see that with uh, some teams when they get they, they don't get their way. They just, like, start panicking. 